Good evening and welcome to the Tony's Tackle Sea Match channel on the beach. Something different tonight, we are, we're not fishing a match, um, we're down here, Tony, Jay, myself and a few other people and it's hound time, <laughs> as, as Tony says. So we're down on the beach, hopefully we're going to be catching smooth hounds tonight, um, that's the plan. Um, what could go wrong? Um, now, Eastbourne. If you've never fished here, if you've never come down to Eastbourne, I've got a camera up on top of this stick, which is what I've got to see in my own. Um, you'd realise that actually there's so many different fishing marks along here, and all of them are slightly different. So today we are um, on a mark that is right in front of the bandstand um, in the town centre. So, you know, there's lots of tourists down here at the moment, lots of people down here taking pictures. Uh, I can see that down there, is actually a dead smooth out on the beach uh, and they're taking pictures of it so obviously they're going to be, be reporting back about the sharks that are in the sea around um, Eastbourne because they are a member of the shark family uh, but they don't have any teeth in Australia we call them gummy sharks I think uh, so anyway gonna get myself set up I'm down here first no one else is here yet Jay is on his way uh, he's been down collecting crabs I believe so I'm um, hoping he's got a big bucket full of facts Ha <laughs> I tell a lie. The man is here. There he is. Got his gear. Now Jay, um, he swears by um, a particular type of cox and wool hook that he uses for all of his rays and all of his um, smooth hounds. So we're going to be marketing those those um, hooks. We're going to have them in the shop, uh, and uh, it's something I'm. It's one of my projects, so I'm going to be doing something about that. But um, yeah, so in combination with Cox and Wall, we're going to be looking at Jade Array's um, amazing hooks, the hooks that he uses. All right, mate. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I'm in the right place then. Sorry. Oh, he's watching a football, isn't he? Oh, that's Helen's wear trousers. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I say it's going to get cold later, but then looking at you, you're wearing shorts. Oh, I've got, I've got a tracksuit, oh. though. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, I, yeah, I'm sensible. I've got, I've got warmer clothing <laughs> to put on. Yeah. But it, uh, it does, doesn't it? Well, there's a dead, there's a dead smooth hound on the beach down there. Oh, yeah, so I don't know where, who's, who had that. He's not survived, obviously. Lots of people taking pictures of the Eastbourne shark. <laughs> That's the problem. Some people, when they catch them, yeah. they don't make sure they swim away. No, nah, that's right. If the tide's going out, it might be dark and they might not. Well, they get it's confused right. by lights. Have you got your headlight on them? Yeah. The dogfish do the same, swim back at you, don't they? They yeah, swim back in yeah. the Yeah, you know, you yeah. You know, you make sure these specimen fish. Yeah. Go back yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. Right, well, I'm going to watch you tackling baiting up in a bit, and we'll do a little film of that. Yeah, I'm um, going to make my own rig for yeah, um, yeah, so right, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, we'll do it. We'll, we'll, we'll video it. Yeah. Let me get the stuff out. Right, okay. Um, okay. Tony as well, isn't it? Yeah, Tony as well. Well, I mean, you can get over there. Yeah, I'm here, mate. <laughs> this is where he had that 11 pounder. Right, well, this is, this is where I'm fishing, and I didn't know that. I was here first, so he needs to get here if he wants yeah, to get on the spot. Well, that's what I said. Yeah. So I'm going to jump down that. Yeah. So you're all right videoing downwards? Yeah, yeah, well, I'll come down around. No problem. Yeah, yeah. If you scan the QR code, it will take you to the film of Jay tying his hound rigs. Right, so Tony's turned up. Um, he's got a couple of rods that he's trialling out, so he's got his prototype of the uh, this of is the C-Match Mac 4 in it. Prototype of the Dreamcast 4. Dreamcast 4. Much lighter this one. Yeah. Slightly changed. It's got two tips. One's a heavy tip for yeah. hounds. Tonight, this, see this soft tip? I'm going to use that for hounds. See, what, see how it performs, shall we? Yeah. Something yeah. different. And then we've got care of black rock continental bass it's a really light rod it's not it's not cheap it's about 170 pounds 
but it's very, very light. And what we're going to attempt to do tonight, it's got either a bass or a hound on it. Yeah. As you can see, it's very light. So it's going to be a bit of a performance if we get one. But I shall, we should give it a go, eh? A light chip on it, look. It's about, well, 3.9, what's that? 13 foot? Yeah. Almost like a spinning rod, look. That's a very light bass, you know? I don't know if you can see it, can you? Carp rod. <laughs> well, it's almost light, look, see it? Very, very light. Lovely. I've got to put a four ounce on it, but what we hope is that the hound don't get stuck on the bottom if we get one and we slowly sort of edge it in. That's, yeah. that's the plan. Or play it if it's going to yeah, run around the bay. Old, uh, just to pair it up tonight, put an old bait runner. All oh, right. One of the old ones, the old six, eight thousands or six thousand. Just put some 20 pound line on it. Give it a shot, can't we? Yeah. Probably be two hours if I get one on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wouldn't. It probably won't take too long. Look one first and worry about it, innit? Yeah. Anyway, England didn't win. Neil Neil again. Another poor performance. But uh, we topped the group, apparently. And that's all they wanted to do, they said. <laughs> didn't want to impress anyone. <laughs> yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Four ounce lead. Probably chuck it quite away, 18 pound line on it. So there we go. And we're fishing tonight somewhere different, aren't we? Yeah. But it's where I had the 11 pounder. It's up by the pier, it's past the pier. Uh, somewhere different on the pier, mate. But you get more crabs up here, Chris. Yeah. You've got a nice big gully there, you can see it. Yeah. I don't think you lose any tackle here. That's good. Which is good, and I think you've got a nice deep gully. But probably at high tide when you fish properly, you'd be landing in that gully, and that's where they yeah. come through us a bit. Yeah. There's certainly a few here the other night. Jay had a load, I've got here late, and I had that 11 pound one and a nice bass. So, you know, they're here. Yeah. So, the continental bass, here we go. <laughs> nice we'll one. Pull off a nice sound on this, it'd be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. And that's made by Black Rock. Yeah, you'll have to help me get it in, Chris. <laughs> Yeah, Blackrock. He makes some nice rods, Blackrock. Yeah. They're very um, very easy to fish with, you know. Quite a lot of rods and they're very powerful. Yeah, yeah. Got a nice range, does the Fusa. The I've got an SS10. I've got an SS10. Yeah, the SS10's nice. And they come, they come in a lovely rod bag. I wish other rod manufacturers would just take a note out of their book and just put a decent yeah, rod bag on them. Yeah, something that's going to happen with this Streamcast. Yeah. Um, it's going to come in a paddy rod bag. Yeah. And it's going to be beautiful. And that's a lot of effort, you know, yeah. extra money. But at the end of the day, you know, if you're going to buy a nice rod, why not, as you yeah. said, put it in a decent bag? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've, I've bought yeah. expensive rods come in flimsy I'll little... i a little bit there because we, um, us match anglers, don't really use bags very often. No. You know, to be honest with you, we're a little bit, um, get the rod out and get fishing, you know? But, uh, yeah, but for you know, if you've just spent 100, was it 160 quid that rod, you say? Yeah, just spent 160 quid on a rod. You know, you don't want to be bashing it, right? You want it in something that's going to give it a bit of protection. Well, you certainly do. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I'll say we don't use rod bags, but I keep this one, which is the original, yeah, quiver HT, yeah, bag, yeah, put my HT in there, yeah, yeah, in there, yeah, because I don't want to damage the ring, so I yeah. do actually use it, yeah inside the hole wall, you know? Yeah, and I mean, you say for saving time, but you crack a ring, you won't know why your line keeps parting. You know, you'd be halfway through a match trying to work out why you're cracking off all of it. Yeah. I lost all the fish for yeah. three matches running and break. Didn't even know, thought I'd done a ring, or I threw the rod on the ground. And what I've done is three rings, so I fixed one. Yeah. Fixed another one, lost dogfish. And then yeah. fish, fished again. It still broke at the top. Yeah, of the yeah. What's yeah. going on? They only got to have a hairline crack if yeah. you're fishing with braid and they just cut through it like a just knife through butter. I didn't think I'd yeah. busted more than one. Didn't look. Yeah. Of course, on these prototypes, they don't put um, the best rings on and stuff. No. They just throw a ring on yeah, there yeah. and it won't be food usually until yeah. the proper thing comes, you know? 
That's a little bit like that. So. You let you let Jay borrow that rod, didn't you? Yeah, he caught some mounds on it. Didn't but he, Jay? He, he didn't manage to break it then. No one's broke it yet. It's going to be given to yeah. the mice. I was going to say, he gave it to Jay and he didn't manage to break it. Yeah, but the mice has been out this week. My boy, if he can't break it, he breaks rods for fun, doesn't he? So Chris is going to have a go of it. And he's going to have a week of it. And if he don't break it, yeah. they're in production. They'll be about September, I think. I, I didn't want to rush it and get it wrong. I've no. spent a lot of time on this one. And well, the last thing you want is to get a big batch turn up and then someone bre breaks one day one and then the word yeah, goes out they break and no one will buy, buy one. I mean, my last rod, I had 100. And the breakages were so minimal, you wouldn't believe it. Yeah. I bought these extra tips for middle sections and I still, in the end, I sold, they fitted something else. Yeah. I only had about free break out of a hundred. Yeah. And that was suspect car doors and stuff like that, you know. Yeah. Right, right well, time, whilst so. everyone was setting up, I've got mine set up and it's out fishing. Everyone else is fishing with crab. I'm trying something different tonight. I'm going to be fishing with prawn. Just to see if, if, if they start banging, you know, catching loads and I don't catch anything, then I'll swap over to crab. But, uh, be interesting to see if I'm catching the same as um, they are on the, on the crab, then happy days. Of course, the curse of the camera, we won't catch naff all tonight. <laughs> See that on there, Chris? Not up here, but, well, even up here, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Jay's just well, had a hit of these bugs, yeah. When they're here, the bass. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Well, the bass love them. The bass like them. They like eat them, don't they? They must come in on the groins, I don't know. That's fine. Got it. Bass. Bass, bass, It is. Can I see a different surf? No. Wave. Nice bass. Hey, yeah. It's a nice bass. Yeah. So that was on that crab bait that I baited up for the camera. Yeah. And first fish of the night. First chart. Probably bass. What's that? Probably near on 50 centimetres. Yeah. So, yeah. Absolutely banging start to our Yeah, yeah. Then. Excellent. Uh, yeah, 10 ton of wig, like I said before, I'll unclip that. Get him off, off, off the hook and back in the water. There, whack another bait out quick, and then I'll deal with the fish. Excellent. That's the noise.
filmed it. This is hope, this is for no good, I've got to go and get another wheel or something. Well, I won't go and get that. Yeah. yeah. Put a multiplier on it. Running in. It's gone or not? Oh well. Jay's getting another rattle out there, but uh, little bass bites, I think. Probably little schoolies. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. All right, I'll put the camera back on when it happens. Yeah. Well, it looks like Jay's uh, into a fish and it's a matter of debate whether it's a bass or a smooth hound. Oh yeah, that's a hound, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, sounds. Yeah, it's lively. That's not, I wouldn't say that. that yeah, I wouldn't say that's a double. But it's still a nice fish. <laughs> He's gonna unclip it. Oh, 
there. I know, so it stands the chance of it getting getting back in the water and going off with his... In my bag. Yeah, can you turn your headlight off? <laughs> yeah. So that's why I have a quick clink so I can just unclip him. And that's good fish. Yeah, certainly running you around a bay. Yeah. Yeah, that is good fish. Um, yeah, we'll weigh him. He's probably nine if not. Oh, I was going to say nine. I'd say nine, but. Yeah. So I have got the scales. So yeah. I'll get him out the bag. Yeah, get him scaled and then yeah. get him back, yeah. Well done, Jay the Ray. Jay the Smoothie. So yeah. 11 pound, yeah. yeah. Just, under, pound. just under 11 pound, nice one. Well, you in a bag. Not by the gels or anything. No. And, and the bag's got a big half a dozen rocks in it. Hasn't got much sandwiches in. <laughs> but yeah, 11 pounds. Nice. Starry moving. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Happy with this. Yeah, yeah. Give him a kiss. Stick a cigarette in his eye while you're doing it. The fish was released and it swam away strongly. Fish on there? Right. Sorry? You're going to touch that cigar on your line and... It looked like a bass bite. That's a bass. <laughs> Another Bertie. Well done. Another nice bass. Yeah. Yeah. So, with that. Yeah. On the crab. On the crab. I was having my celebratory to go after that house. <laughs> As I always say, wait a minute. Courtesy of my brother from Columbia. Yeah. Well done. Well done. We're going to have to move. Well, no sooner has he got up the belly beach with his bass, but his other rod goes.
making the video unproducible. <laughs> yeah. I've been leaving the odd F bomb in the videos now, I can't be bothered with it. Doesn't seem to bother anybody. Yeah. Ah, false alarm, false alarm. Yeah, bear hooks. Well, put the camera on. We all know what happens when I put the camera on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's an elm point at the back. Going flat. Sit. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, damn you. Come on. He's there, but... Got oh. him. Yeah. Third time yeah. lucky. Got him, got him. Bass, you Chris, can you see? Do you want me to go somewhere? You know it's going to go over the lines, don't worry about it. I'm not going to bloody go mad. Leave it, don't touch the line. I can't help it going over the line. They'll come in slowly, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, take your time, just get it. Oh, really? It's a hand, little one. Yeah. How oh, many? Really? 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 Shooting all the fun out of the fishing. <laughs> Pup Master does it! <laughs> right, let's have a look then. Oh, God. I'll just unclip it, Jay, and then it'll all come out. No better. Don't matter, I've got one. I'm going home now. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm going to get one on that little rod. I've got a fly in here. Thanks. I've got this one up nicely. Yeah. Um, that's himself up, didn't it? Oh, good right. That's good, huh?
Sí. Yeah. Hopefully. It's on the groin there, look, there behind you. Yeah. Hey? What? What? Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> well, he is a nice one, look, see? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, nice one. Whoa, that is a nice one. Oh, that was lucky. It's not starry either. Right, this is a common three pound. Once again, just don't clip them off. Oh. Come on. Be another double. Oh, I always think it's another double. Another double, probably. Yeah. So, yeah. Common smooth hound because he's got no, no stars. stars on him. Still a bit pricey. But, yeah. Them hooks, cock some more specials are doing it. Yeah, definitely are. You know? So, yeah. Hell of a bite. Um, got wrapped up around that groin as you saw yeah. and I was very very lucky to untangle it if yeah. I didn't have my waders on yeah. I'd have lost that yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, just getting back in the water and uh, <laughs> yeah, give him a kiss right. yeah. him All right, a well kiss. done well done Jay that is just over 11 so a bit bigger than the last one yeah. But I love a good fish. Yeah, yeah, excellent. Yeah. Well done. 11 pound smooth hound, common one, going back.
He's gone. Perfect for me. <laughs> Tony just had a good bite, but uh, didn't connect with it. And then it came back and had another go. Three times. Three times it had a go, yeah? Just swim past the and then they just go mad. Well, I mean, they, they're pack fish, aren't they? So they're. they're... I've Got it. The other dive put it back in the wobble, so it was going to get in. Yeah. <laughs> well, they won't have taken the bait, will they? So. Filming. Lost it. Lost yeah, it. Film that fight. Yeah, I yeah. think so. is now getting on for 3 a.m. So we've virtually fished through the night. It won't be much longer before. In fact, there is a little bit of light in the sky already off to the east. Um, I'm going to pack it up now and uh, go home. Had a cracking night though. I mean, Jay gave us a fishing lesson, I would suggest, tonight. <laughs> we had two bass and two nice smooth ounce. Um, both over, over over double figure. Tony had one small small smooth round and then missed three big bites. Um, the jury's out on as to why that was. Possibly because using harder 
part of the bait, uh, the mast and the hook. But uh, I couldn't buy a bite tonight. I don't know why that is. Perhaps I'm not casting far enough. I don't know. But you know, every day is school day. Learned some good stuff. Saw how Jay does his rigs up and everything like that. Um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed it. Catch you later.